This slideshow is designed to give you an overview of social theories of learning, which include the social cognitive theory as well as constructivist theories. These theories fit in the time frame, um, in the social cognitive theory in particular, of 1960s through the 80s. So it was developed around the same time frame as um, the cognitive developmental theories, as well as some of the motivation theories. And then constructivism is a theory that appeared close to the 1990s. We've looked at several different views of learning thus far in the course. Um, behavioral views um, of learning in that learning is a change of behavior. Uh, those in the cognitive fields looking at learning as a change in knowledge. And now we're going to focus on um, those in the social uh, psychology fields who looked at learning as um, more of an event that involves observing the actions and the consequences of others. The social cognitive theory uh, was developed by Albert Bandura. Um, it started as the social learning theory. That was the first um, title for it. Um, and that work began in the 1960s. He later added a cognitive dimension to his theory, which is when it became the social cognitive theory. In one of his now famous experiments, Bandura um, had kids observing an adult hitting a doll. This was called the Bobo doll experiment. And the kids were then placed in a room with the doll as well as other toys and he filmed what the kids did. And basically they did exactly what the adult had done. Um, so when the adult was hitting the doll, the kids followed the lead of the adults. 88% of the kids imitated the behavior of the adults based on his study and Within um, eight months, 40% of those um, students still continued to do the, um, the same thing. So this kind of led to the understanding that there is an important connection between learning and observing others. Bandura's theory, the social cognitive theory, has three parts to it. There are environmental factors, um, personal factors, and then behaviors. And his idea is that environmental factors, which are the social part of his theory, are um, related to or interact with personal factors, which is the cognitive part of his theory. And both of those factors then lead to certain behaviors. So in essence, Learning is all about environment interacting with the cognitive domain and then leading to certain behaviors. He called this um, interconnectedness reciprocal determinism. The environmental factors that he spoke of were um, based on his early work in the 60s and 70s, tied to that Bobo doll experiment, where he suggests that social factors impact learning, such as role models, the instructional strategies used by teachers, and feedback provided by people that the student interacts with. Personal factors are considered the cognitive aspect of the theory, and they include the internal workings of the individual, the goals that that individual has, their sense of e efficacy, which is their belief about their competence or effectiveness in a given area. Um, attributions, which are a person's beliefs about what causes their success or failure. And then self-regulation, the processes of self-regulation, which happens to be the, the ability to plan, monitor, and control distractions. Both the personal factors and the environmental factors lead to certain behaviors. Um, those behaviors monitor whether or not goals, the goal will progress. Um, the behavior may result in more motivation for learning um, or for learning itself. So it depends on 
what happens with those other factors, whether or not the student will proceed with learning or not. Your text, um, the Wolf Oak text in particular, describes some of the applications of this theory to the classroom. And one of your um, jobs this week is to look at how you can take what Bandura set up as his theory and apply that to uh, the classroom. The second type of social cognitive theory is constructivism. And although this is not really just one theory, um, it does fit in the category of social cognitive um, in the social cognitive domain, um, and it is grounded in the work of prior researchers, Piaget, Vygotsky, Bruner, and even Dewey. Um, and it did emerge recently, in the 1990s. Constructivists believe that learners are active when they construct their own learning, that basically a person who is learning something builds on what they already have in their um, schema. So learning is the construction of or the addition of new ideas to what's already internalized. And that social interactions are important to knowledge construction. There are two facets or types of constructivism Individual constructivism was considered the first wave, and that tied to Piaget's uh, theory. Um, and the whole focus here was the individual construction of knowledge and a person's belief about their identity. So constructivism was tied to more of a individual, looking at the individual in their learning. Social constructivism was the second wave, and this kind of ties to Vygotsky and Bandura's theories where the interest was more in how learning is constructed in a social context. There are some common elements, whether it be first wave or second wave of constructivism, in that those who believe in the constructivist theory try to embed learning in complex, realistic, and relevant learning environments, that that's important. Um, that part of learning is providing social negotiation and shared responsibility, that there's a need to support multiple perspectives and use multiple representations when trying to get across a concept, that the goal of a teacher in a constructivist classroom is to nurture self-awareness and encourage ownership of learning. Constructivism is applied to the classroom through a multitude of approaches that are currently being used. Inquiry learning, problem-based learning, dialogues and discussions, as well as cognitive apprenticeships are all approaches that um, developed out of the um, constructivist theory. And this week you're going to be going to websites and seeing examples of inquiry and problem-based learning activities that students are engaged in.